Saturday night, no bicycle allowed. Switches make me throw it. Rolling up CPs in the side for me. Got them up and let them both burn. The Compass has long guided explorers and pioneers in seeking out undiscovered lands and exciting new places. Now, Compass 360 Realty is Southeast Georgia's top choice for buying and selling real estate. First timers, forever home families, and commercial buyers and sellers all look to expert realtors Jonathan Coleman and Jody DuPont and their team of pros for new construction, relocation, lot and land, 1031 tax exchange, farm ranch and more. Call 807-7325. Compass 360 Realty, guiding you in the right direction. Shop Deals Outlet, Walls Plaza and Blackshear for closeout savings on new and like new merchandise. Hundreds of items in stock with new arrivals daily. 
a wide selection of recreation and outdoors gear, holiday and seasonal items, office supplies, housewares, automotive supplies, tools, toys, games, and more. Open Monday through Friday, 9 till 8. Saturday, 10 till 6. Call them at 807-1111. That's 807-1111. Deals Outlet, Walls Plaza, Blackshear. And that was Miss Pitts on that catch for the out back there. And the umpire will call that safe at second. So that'll leave a runner on second with one out. Tonight it's just a one-man crew for Bears D and set up with a club of girls as our PA announcers and music selectors, I guess. <laughs> That'll go down as ball one. There's ball two. And that'll be strike one off the bunt. The bunt will connect at that time, but it will not be enough to put her on first, but it will go down as a sacrifice as it moved the runner on second to third. Grounds it to first for the out. That'll be the end of the first top the end of the s uh, top of the second excuse me and we will be back from this break all right team listen up effective immediately you'll all be joining my team the nfhs network if it happens in high school, we got it covered. We've got your favorite high school sports wherever you want them, whenever you want them. Streaming live or on demand. Plus, with a few well-executed moves here, here, and here, you can find and follow your favorite school or team. Only on the NFHS Network.
and welcome back to the bottom of the same here in Bearville. And that'll go down as strike one. And that will go as foul ball for strike two. Your producer, camera operator, and announcer today is yours truly, Kevin Cox. Still wishing summer break was going on. Well, it still is. Just barely. Already back for softball. And that'll go down as ball two. That'll be a pop fly. Right behind second, it will be caught for the out. As today is also open house for uh, all Pierce County High School students. And ninth grade open house was held from 3.30 until 6. Things are finally winding up. And that'll go down as ball one right there. And that'll be fouled as strike one. Not two, one. Ball two. That'll be a foul ball. Number two for strike two. Two balls, two strikes, one out. No runners on base. And B ball number three for a full count. Bacon County leading Pierce, 1-0. And, oh. and that will go down as a foul ball. Almost caught for the out. By what seems to be the first baseman. And that will be put over around third and caught for the out. And there'll be a fly out in between first and second to the shortstop and cup four out number three to bring an end to the second inning. Score still 1-0 with Bacon County on top here in Bearville. We'll be back right after this break. The Compass has long guided explorers and pioneers in seeking out undiscovered lands and exciting new places. Now, Compass 360 Realty is Southeast Georgia's top choice for buying and selling real estate. First timers, forever home families, and commercial buyers and sellers all look to expert realtors Jonathan Coleman and Jody DuPont and their team of pros for new construction, relocation, lot and land, 1031 tax exchange, farm Farm, ranch, and more. Call 807 7325. Compass 360 Realty, guiding you in the right direction.
and welcome back to Bearville. And that'll be foul rolling right off the left line. So it'll be strike one right there. And that'll be ball one. be line drive down center and it will be a base hit And that'll be ball number two. And there will be ball number three. And that'll be strike one. Bring your count to three balls, one strike. One runner on first. Well, of course, there's only one runner on first. Runner on first. And that'll be strike two, bringing the load, full count, excuse me. Still wearing, walking off the summer days, getting ready for school here in Pierce County. This is a runner. Takes second. As strike number three delivers the first out. Oh, excuse me, that was not an out, that was actually a walk. So there's a runner on first, runners on first and second. And that'll be grounded straight down the center, and that will bring in a run for Bacon. And advance another runner to third, leaving runners on first and third, with Bacon up to 3-0. and Or 2-0, and excuse me. Almost ended up being 3-0. She showed the sign bunt, and a runner took second as ball one came across the plate. And that'll be fouled down the right line for strike one. And 
That'll be ball number two coming across the line. And that'll be fouled out over the fence for strike two. And then we'll go straight back and bounce over the roof somewhere over, rather, over our heads. And that'll bounce right into the glove of the pitcher for the out. Runner on third hesitated to go. Bacon's coach having a chat with their next batter. Again, Bacon County leading Pierce 2 0. One out. Runners on second and third. Ball one. It'll be strike one. Bring your full total count to one, one, one. And that'll be bunt, and it will go foul. So that run will not count. That'll be strike two. And that'll be fouled into the fence. And that will be ball two. That'll be fouled out of the left line. And that'll be fouled right. Man, for those of you who have not heard about the New uh, Corvette C8 mid-engine sports car, which, in my opinion, looked like a Ferrari. You cannot get chrome wheels from the dealer. And there will be a pop fly and caught by the aid. Shortstop. Again, still working summer out right there. It'll be out number two. Runner's still on second and third. And that'll be strike one.
And it'll be strike two. be ball one. Bring your count. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Runners on second and third. Bacon County up 2-0. and oh. That'll be a pop fly out to center. And it is caught for the third out. So That'll leave your score. Bacon, two. Pierce, zero. Until after this break. Shop Deals Outlet, Walls Plaza and Blackshear for closeout savings on new and like new merchandise. Hundreds of items in stock with new arrivals daily. A wide selection of recreation and outdoors gear, holiday and seasonal items, office supplies, housewares, automotive supplies, tools, toys, games, and more. Open Monday through Friday, 9 till 8. Saturday, 10 till 6. Call them at 807-1111. That's 807-1111. Deals Outlet, Walls Plaza, Blackshear. Welcome back to Bearville. Lady Bears up to bat. And that'll be strike one. It'll be ball one. That'll be fouled right into the fence for strike number two. Strike one. And that was ball one. fouled right for strike two. And that'll be put out to right outfield and it'll be caught for the out.
That looked like an infield fly ball. I believe is what you call it. And then we'll get that looked like it will go down as an error right there as it hit the edge of the glove. Less advancing the run first. Now they're going to strike one. That'll be a pop fly. And it will not be caught. Going all the way, and she is safe at third. Now, if it's up to me, that will definitely go down as a highlight for the Pierce County Bears. Putting runners on first and third. Pop fly over to the shortstop, and it will be caught for out number three. Ending the uh, bottom of the third, and we'll be back for the top of the fourth after a nice little look at the scoreboard. End this commercial. Back to the top of the fourth. With Bacon County leading Lady Bears 2 0. That'll be a pop fly, and that looks like it will be caught by the shortstop, and it is caught for the out. Or ex uh, excuse me, that will be caught by the second baseman, I believe. Uh, short stops on the left. It's been a long summer. In memory views, that is. Strike one. You get count to one, one, one. And that'll be fouled into the fence for strike two. Bringing the count to one of the highways near is US 121. be ball number two. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Yeah. 
And it will be strike three for out number two. I would also like uh, to take your time right now and ask you uh, for something that's probably pretty selfish in some of your eyes. But I'd like for some of you to pr pray for Pierce County's very own uh, Seth Prescott. As he's uh, actually gotten sick while being sick. So he was unable to show up and be with us here at Open House today as ball number two cro comes across the plate. So yes, please, please do pray for Seth Prescott and his family. And there's strike one. Showing sign bunt, and it will not be enough to put her on first base. So that'll come down as out number three with a quick little show of the scoreboard. And we'll be back after this break here in Barrowville. All right, team, listen up. Effective immediately. You'll all be joining my team, the NFHS Network. If it happens in high school, we got it covered. We've got your favorite high school sports wherever you want them, whenever you want them. Streaming live or on demand. Plus, with a few well-executed moves here, here, and here, you can find and follow your favorite school or team. Only on the NFHS Network. And welcome back to the bottom of the fourth here in Bearville. Lady Bears up the bat. And that'll be a nice line drive out to left field. And that'll go down as a base hit. And I do want to say that Tristan Blocker is double O again. And y'all can't see anything because I did not pay attention. But that'll be put out to left. And that runner comes in the third safe with that ball bouncing off the bottom of the fence back there in left field from Tristan Blocker. And it looks like Coach Spires is just wanting to get a run in to keep us in the game. And that'll be a pop fly out to the left. And it is foul, but it will be caught for an out. on second and third. And that'll be ball two. Coming in about six inches off the batter's elbow. 
And that'll be ball number three. And that'll be strike one. And that will be hit foul right over the fence for strike number two. Uh, bringing in the full count with uh, your entire count being three, two, one. So counting down to blast off it looks like. And that one will be fouled off as well. Grounded to the second baseman for out number two, but it will bring a run across the plate and advance run our second base runner to third. strike one and that'll come in as ball one Strike number two. Bring your full count to two, two, two. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Tomorrow. And that will be hit up to second. But it will re the ball will come back to first just in time to prevent the Bears' second run from coming in before the top of the fifth. Other than that, Bears did indeed get a run, and we will be back right after this break. The Compass has long guided explorers and pioneers in seeking out undiscovered lands and exciting new places. Now, Compass 360 Realty is Southeast Georgia's top choice for buying and selling real estate. First timers, forever home families, and commercial buyers and sellers all look to expert realtors Jonathan Coleman and Jody DuPont and their team of pros for new construction, relocation, lot and land, 1031 tax exchange, farm ranch and more call 807 7325 compass 360 realty guiding you in the right direction Welcome back to Bearville, to the top of the fifth. Bacon County leading Pierce, two and one. And that'll be ball one. Coming across the plate, it's ball number two. And 
and that'll be fouled on the left line for strike one. fouled right behind the, the plate strike two and that'll be out to center left field caught for the out by the center outfielder for out number one Strike one coming across the plate. Strike two coming across the plate. two going around the plate. <laughs> a couple people just had a heart attack up here, that's all. And that'll be hit out to left field. And it'll go down as a base hit. Ball one. Strike one. Two. That'll be fouled behind the plate. Runner will try and take second. But she will be safe. Current count, two balls, two strikes, one out. Runner on second. And that will be a wild pitch. Going down is ball number three for the full count. And putting a runner on third. And that will be fouled over.
And that will be fly out to right center. Caught for the out. And it will not make it back in time either way to prevent the third run for Bacon County. Two outs, no runners on base. And that'll be fouled over the right fence for strike one. That'll be grounded into the third baseman's glove, and it will be brought back to first just in time for out number three to end the top of the fifth with Bacon, Bacon now leading three and one here in Bearville. We'll be back for the bottom of the fifth right after this break. Shop Deals Outlet, Walls Plaza and Blackshear for closeout savings on new and like new merchandise. Hundreds of items in stock with new arrivals daily. A wide selection of recreation and outdoors gear, holiday and seasonal items, office supplies, housewares, automotive supplies, tools, toys, games, and more. Open Monday through Friday, 9 till 8. Saturday, 10 till 6. Call them at 807-1111. That's 807-1111. Deals Outlet, Walls Plaza, Blackshear. Cozy, keep it ice cold. You take a sip before we get gone. Looking at you with your hand out the window. I turn around while you turn me on. Back to the bottom of the fifth here in Bearville. Brantley, Brantley, not Brantley. God, have mercy on my soul. I messed up again. Oh, well, Bacon County. Close enough. Both starts with B. And that'll be ball one. Well, I hope I provided a good laugh to some of you. I'm moving about ball number two. And that'll be strike one. Three. 
And that'll be ball number four for the walk to first. Pinch runner, I believe. That'll be ball one. And with some of these mistakes, I do apologize to all of you, but you will have to just bear with me. I'll get it right in a couple of games. But that will be caught for the out by the second baseman. bring about ball number one. That'll be strike one. Current counts, one ball, one strike. One out, runner on first. That'll be fouled down the right line for strike number two. Oh, well, the right fence. And that'll be ball number two. And that'll be hit right to the pitcher. And I believe that one would go down as an error. But that one that one would be hard to tell as if it were an error or not. But hey, what you gonna do? That'll bring a runner on that'll put a runner on first and second. With one out. And the coach, Bacon, will come out on the field and have a little meeting. And for all the Bears that are watching in, or, well, tuning in, I guess is what I could, should say, be sure to show up for the uh, football game where the Bears will face off against Wilcox County for scrimmage this Friday. That'll come across as strike one. Uh, yes, yeah, strike one. Excuse me, I did not change the uh, ball of strikes there. And that'll be 
put over to the left outfielder and she will catch it for an out, out number two. And I just realized there wasn't even a runner on second on the the screen. It'll pop up soon. Just be glad I'm not as slow as the computer is right now. That'll be put out to the right outfield, and it will be fair right inside the line, and that will bring in one run. Two. No, that one will come down as out number three. As the runner gets caught by the leg of the catcher. The runner got wrapped around the leg as it was blocking the home plate. So, and they're going to call it an out anyways. Which will bring an end to the bottom of the fifth and bring us back to the top of the six here after this break. After a view of the scoreboard. And we'll come back to the top of the six. And that'll be a ball, ball one. That'll come in as ball number two. go down and strike one. <laughs> and that'll be ball number four. Getting a free walk to first. pinch runner. Be grounded to the third baseman and it will reach first in time for the double play. That will definitely go down as a highlight. That was a beautiful double play right there for both outs.
come across. This ball one. And that'll be fouled right over the left fence. First strike one. And that'll be put out to left center and it'll go down as a base hit. And if of course y'all were seeing a runner on first the entire time on the scoreboard section. Currently in the top of the sixth. And there's strike one. And that'll come across as ball one. That sounds like it was hit off the neck of the bat. And uh, this will definitely go down as an error. Putting their advancing a run, their run that was currently at, or previously at first to third. And putting the batter on first as a runner. And that'll be strike one. And the runner at first will take second with no opposition. And then we'll go down as ball one. Two balls, one strike, two outs. And that'll be grounded to the second baseman and handed to the first baseman for out number three to bring it into the top of the sixth. And that'll leave us off for the bottom of the sixth with Bacon County up with three, Pierce two. And we'll be back after this break. Listen up. Effective immediately. You'll all be joining my team, the NFHS Network. If it happens in high school, we got it. We've got your favorite high school sports wherever you want them, whenever you want them. Streaming live or on demand. Plus, with a few well-executed moves here, here, and here, you can find and follow your favorite school or team. 
only on the NFHS Network. to the bottom of the sixth here in Bearville. Bacon leading Pierce three to two with Tristan Blocker up to bat. foul for strike one. And that'll be strike two. That'll be ball one. Be fouled through the left line. And that'll be ball number three, bringing in a full count. And that'll bounce to the third baseman and come back to first for out number one. That'll bring up number four, Jessica Todd, I believe. And that'll be ball one. Ball two. And then I'll come in as ball number three. strike one bring your count three balls one strike one out no runners on base bacon leading Pierce three two and that'll be ball number three for the walk to first
believe that'll be pinch runner as well. Strike one. Hmm, that'll get on his ball number one. And it will not catch the runner at first in time. And there's strike number two. be foul down the left line. That was about to be another big play. If it had just been about a foot and a half to the right. Which I know you viewers cannot see that area because of our window situation, but there comes in out number three. Man, that was a spectacular catch for that out. Played in by Bacon. Catcher will look to first to keep our runner in check. And that'll be ball number two. Two balls and no strikes. With two outs. Runner on first. three coming in level-headed quite literally with number two I believe that's I want to say that's Hannah Pitts but I'm not 100% sure as I do not have a lineup and the lights have come on here in Bearville and that will be ball number four to walk to first bringing our girls in first and second And that will go right in between the third baseman and the shortstop. And that will bring in a run for Pierce County tying it up. And it looks like we have, oh, we have multiple errors. This might just bring in a run number four, and it will. And that will move our second runner up into third base. And Coach Spires is calling a halt. And that will definitely go down as a highlight for the Lady Bears. That was spectacular for the Lady Bears right there. I'm telling you, that was an amazing comeback.
And it looks like Coach Spires might be trying to bring in a pinch runner. Man, the school year hasn't even started, and we're already coming out with these spectacular plays. The pinch runner is in. For the first time in the game, the Bears are leading Bacon by one. Come across the plate as ball one. Now come in as ball number two. Two balls, no strikes, two outs, runner on third. That'll be ball number three. That'll be strike one. That one was a pretty high strike. Then again, I'm also looking down towards the plate, so. That was ball number four. That will not bring in another run, as the computer wants to say. But it will put a runner on first. So runners on the first and third, two outs. And that will be scooped up, and it will be put over to the right outfielder and caught for out number three to bring an end to the bottom of the sixth. After the view of the scoreboard, we will be back after the break here in Bearville. The Compass has long guided explorers and pioneers in seeking out undiscovered lands and exciting new places. Now, Compass 360 Realty is Southeast Georgia's top choice for buying and selling real estate. First timers, forever home families, and commercial buyers and sellers all look to expert realtors Jonathan Coleman and Jody DuPont and their team of pros for new construction, relocation, lot and land, 1031 tax exchange, farm ranch and more call 807 7325 compass 360 realty guiding you in the right direction And welcome to the top of the seventh here back here in Bearville. Yeah. 
That'll come in, strike one. And that'll be a walk. Hit the pitch. Ball one. That'll be strike one. Be ball number two. And that will be a fly out to left center, and it will be caught for the out. Strike one and an error at second. The runner getting there and the ball bouncing out of the glove, it appeared. No balls, one strike, one out. Runner on second. Be ball one. And that'll be ball number two. Two balls, one strike, one out. That'll be a fly to right. Caught for out number two. Will not reach third in time. But it will bring us one out closer. But it also brings them one base closer to another possible run to tie the game once again. Not sure if Bacon's coach is going to try for a sacrifice. Either way, the ball will most likely get hit one way or another. Strike one. That'll bounce, and it will come back to first to end the game between Bacon and Pierce. With Pierce leading four to three.
has been a great Monday here in Bearville, especially for the Lady Bears softball team. Clutching the win right there, 4-3 to three against Bacon. And we will be back again, possibly. I do believe we are going to be broadcasting the game this Friday between Wilcox County and Pierce County here at Bear Stadium. Till then, next time, thanks and go Bears. <laughs>